Okay, welcome back. So today I'm making kakadoki. In order to do that, I need to get some moo, some radish, and some spring onions. So I'm just heading to my local store to get that now. Okay. Yeah, this one. So it's spring onions. We need to put spring onions. So you've got three washed ones. It's nearly 10,000. 9,000. These are fine though. I will do it all, darling. You don't need to do it. Then I can make uh, park in as well. You are going to peel them, all of them. I will. I'll record it, prove it. This is a 10,000 for chili. Wow. I've once found some English cheddar in here, so every time I come in, just in case, come and check that the cheese. That was the last thing yeah. I can't get used to the prices. How much are the apples? So it's 8,000 for six apples. So that's what, one pound an apple? They are cute. Yeah. So we've got everything we need, so see you in a minute. Pip pip. Okay, here we are back in my lovely mini kitchen. All right, first things first, get all this cleaned up. Darling, do you want to give me a hand? I will do it all, darling. You don't need to do it. Well done. Obviously, not all of that is going to go into the kakdogi. I'm going to use most of it for pa kimchi, which I'll do tomorrow. But for now, mu radish. I'm going to use 1.5 kilograms of this. So I'm going to use the lighter side. For 1.5, I'm going to guess. Let's try it. 1.2. Yep, 1.5. Good. Okay. Put that in the fridge for tomorrow. Oh. I am going to peel this one. Sometimes you don't need to. I think I, I'd like to peel it. You would like to peel it? Yeah. Okay. Then, of course, that's what that's for. Getting gnarly bits out. Huh? Okay, I'll give that a rinse. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mm, very sweet. Tasty? I'm gonna try. The radish here, oh, quite sweet in general, but if you've got a less sweet one, then you just use a bit of sugar as well as salt. Yeah. Right. Really yeah, they are a bit big. I'll do the others a bit smaller. Yeah, I'll give you a little snacking bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put a bit of salt in that. So I don't need to use too much because I'm not actually going to rinse it afterwards. So I'm only gonna use like three tablespoons. Mm. Oh, sure. Right, because you think you're gonna have to clean it up after. Uh, it's my job to clean. I'm not getting to Okay, so that has been set there for 45 minutes. Halfway through, I gave it a bit of a mix up. So, this stuff I'm going to blend up, put it in a sauce. This I'll chop up. A pear. Korean pear. I'll put a picture of it here in its full glory. It's a lot sweeter and more juicy than ones I'm used to anyway. Yeah, I've never put pear before, but I'm, I'm actually... Are you wearing a mi microphone? Sorry, I forgot the microphone. So I haven't put pear before. But I'm trying this for the first time because I'm actually following the recipe laid out by Korean Bapsang. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, so this is new for me. So won't be putting any sugar because I think this pear is sweet enough as it is. So I'll put my ginger, Korean pear, pear, ginger, tsenggang. Garlic, manul, 
surge up, salted shrimp, and biochi ekjut, anchovy fish sauce, biochi ekjut, anchovy fish sauce, biochi ekjut, anchovy fish sauce. Did you say sush? Fish sauce. <laughs> Okay, I think that's good. Yeah. Got you chili powder, chili flakes, somewhere between the two, and give that a mix up. You're using very tiny spoon. Yeah. Can I try? That's now been salting for 45 minutes. Halfway through, I gave it a bit of a mix up to. Uh, Make sure it was evenly salting. Now I'm going to stick that in a colander and drain off the liquid. Chuck that in there. I think it's going to be tasty. Yeah. Yeah, it's jumping. Good. Yeah. Do you want to try a little bit? Yeah, of course. Do a small one? Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, I don't need to put any silver. Mmm. Very tasty. Too much to put in it to put in the Oh yeah. Thank you. Oh, we could make more. Yeah, could have done all of it actually. Okay, next time we do um three kilo. Then squish it down, it's nice and flat. Air, bad for fermentation. Thank you very much. Okay, so that will sit at room temperature for 24 hours and then go in the fridge. Okay, that's that. Until next time, cheers.